Hi, I'm Devin with Artbeads.com and I am here with Jeff Elvin of Dakota Stones and I'm so happy to have him here because I wanted to talk a little bit about Druzies. And so Druzies have been fantastic for us. I mean, our customers absolutely love them. If you've ever worked with them, you'll know about the, 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 the sparkle, the beauty that it brings to any piece. And so really, I want to find out what exactly is a Druzy. I mean, you see, you know, as kids, sometimes you go and you break over the so-called like the, the, the geodes or sometimes you call them these dinosaur eggs and you, you break them open, they're empty and you, and you see this kind of crystalline form. So is that, are we, are we close? Yeah, basically you're going to find a pocket within a material, a gemstone, mm -hmm. crystal, where almost like little stalactites or stalagmites mm -hmm. end up forming based from water drips and years and time and pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, the kind of how tightly grouped the crystals are, where they're found within the material, how much is there, kind of lends itself to the different types of products that you can make out of it, where this is coming with much more of a flat, droozy mm -hmm. piece where you can, you have so much more surface area exposed. Mm -hmm. um, even within droozy, you can tell the size. I think we always choose to go with the more tightly grouped pattern. I think mm -hmm. it looks more elegant. I think it's versus like the bigger, mm -hmm. you'll kind of see different style where the actual pieces of Druzy are larger, mm -hmm. more like the style of beads that we've created where this is, uh, it's more, it costs more, but we think especially if you're going to mm -hmm. build a pendant or more of a focal piece with it. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are really, I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but it's, it's really fantastic. I mean, because some of the Druzy pieces that you've got here and that we sell on Art Beads, you know, like this one have, you know, has this organic feel. They are just your traditional round beads, whereas these bezel um, pendants uh, that we sell are really elegant, um, you know, and we also sell them in, in links as well. But they're on these findings that are just absolutely fantastic. Um, 24 karat gold plated findings, very it's very sturdy. I mean, nothing cheap feeling about these. And, and um, you know, we've seen customers just simply string them on a chain or even a piece of leather or uh, so many different ways that you can make a, a, a piece of jewelry very quickly that's going to add a lot of uh, uh, beauty and it's going to bring in a lot of compliments. So really fantastic. And so um, can you tell me about, you know, we've got this strand of kind of these um, uh, you don't want to call them rice kind bead. of yeah, bit, kind of these barrel shaped beads. But yep. you've got these little elements in them, which is I I think is really neat. Is that they're not in every single one, but you've got these pieces. I think you referred to them almost as like windows. What is Druzy this? What windows? Is that? Sure, it's it's going to be where you have smaller uh, pockets within the material that form, and so as it gets exposed, as somebody the the lapidary artist is shaping and doing that. I mean, here's another mm -hmm. little yeah. one. And yeah. I guess to point out that all of these that are showing here have had a coating put on them. Druzy mm -hmm. is going to match the type of material that it forms on, mm -hmm. mostly in a crystal formation or on agate. And so mm -hmm. what we're doing is enhancing these with color and they do that a couple of different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's beautiful, the colors and, and, you know, the differences. I mean, this almost has a matte feel, but those windows add that little sparkle um, to a piece, whereas, you know, these larger, these pieces are really, you know, faceted and shiny throughout, and and uh, I'm not even going to start to ask how those are made because they look very complicated, um, but I think adding those to any piece are, would, would um, really bring a lot to, um, to your designs. All right. Well, thank you very much. Anything else you uh -huh. want to add about the Druzies? Because it's uh, it's fascinating. Um, colors are great. Um, do we ever have to worry about colors fading? Um, I would say, uh, you know, not necessarily. Um, let's just say so that basically they've come up with a very unique way to color mm -hmm. transform Druzy, and it's done in a vacuum format. Mm -hmm. And so okay. it's done in an ionized vacuum where the color adheres to the actual material mm -hmm. and you can see it across these pendant pieces you can see mm -hmm. how it it and why they're having to do that in a vacuum is because of the gapping in you know the windows mm -hmm. okay. and trying to get and pull the color oh, onto it i see okay and adhere it um you're going to mm -hmm. have a little bit stronger color mm -hmm. across the druzy and the durability of it 
But uh, for the most part, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to color. <laughs> to, mm-hmm. to yeah. it, it, color enhanced Druzy is going to be in an ionized vacuum. Yeah, and, and I've never seen any of these pieces fade. I mean, once in a while we'll we'll hear from a customer that may have had an issue, but I think really the you know like with any any bead or or Treatment. piece of jewelry, it's 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 you know use common sense and take take uh, take good care of your pieces. I mean, don't go try to stay away from chlorinated pools and. You know, if you're doing the dishes, you know, if you've got a piece you really cherish, you know, just maybe, lotions, maybe take it off. Lotions can affect perfumes, it. Yeah. And what's also interesting is is the actual, the, the the acidity, I guess, or the pH content of your skin and your oils can really affect um, jewelry in many different ways, depending on, on who you are. I mean, I've... In sterling silver, for example, we've seen some Correct. customers that could wear sterling, and the more they wear it, the shinier it gets. Whereas with others, the more they wear it, you know, the tarnish, tarnish. the tarnish starts to, to add up, and you have to take care of it. Is sometimes the same with stones. I I, I would very imagine. very much so. Yeah, um, we we do get a lot of different requ- or stories or com- mm-hmm. comments from people, and it's hard mm-hmm. to uh, I guess give as you said I, the the only comment I can really make is make sure that you're taking care of it. Mm-hmm. Try not to get lotions or anything that mm-hmm. is that you're applying on mm-hmm. a daily routine or maintenance right. that you use mm-hmm. when you're yeah. doing it because you're not sure how that's going to react mm-hmm. with a certain type of stone, right. a certain type of finish, mm-hmm. or within uh, like the ionized color treatment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. It's a pleasure having you here and, and learning a little bit about Druzy's. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully this has been very um, interesting for our audience at Art Beads. So please check them out. Thank you. Thanks for having me.